At first, I tried to laugh it off. But Arthur kept hitting on me, so I told him I wasn't interested and asked him to stop. And did he? No, he didn't. Finally, I didn't get a promotion that I'd been promised. He said it was because of poor performance reviews. Which you understood to mean that you wouldn't sleep with him? Yes, when I accused him of that. He said if I brought it up again, I would lose my job. Six weeks later, I was fired anyway. Arthur Kittredge made my life a living hell. Your Honor, the prosecution calls Donna Paulson to the stand. Your Honor, I move to have that witness disallowed. On what grounds? On the grounds that he's only calling the witness because he has a personal ax to grind. Your Honor, we vehemently deny these accusations, but it doesn't matter because what they're claiming isn't discrimination. It turned into discrimination the second Arthur Kittredge passed her over for promotion because she wouldn't sleep with him. That's outrageous and inflammatory. And even if it were true, what does any of it have to do with how a company determines who gets what mortgage rate? I'm trying to explain to the court why you'd call a witness whose testimony is privileged. How exactly is it privileged? Because because it's work product. On a case, by the way, that made Harvey Specter's name instead of yours. And now you're trying to use it to smear his reputation, Your Honor. Clifford Danner has nothing to do with Elmont Investments. Donna Paulson's work on it is covered under privilege, and this entire case should be thrown out right now. And if you'll pardon my French, that is the biggest load of bullshit I have ever heard. You can think whatever you want, Counselor, but the 12th Circuit in California felt differently. Your Honor, we have precedent, we have testimony. And we have a pattern. Ms. Sanowski. If there is a culture of discrimination within your company, the CEO is a reasonable person to ask about it. Mr. Kittrich will submit to a deposition in the next 24 hours. Your Honor, the only reputation being smeared here is mine, but more importantly, I agree. Clifford Danner has nothing to do with this. In fact, if anything even remotely resembling that name comes out of my mouth, feel free to hold me in contempt. But in the meantime, unless the defense would like to bring up what I had for lunch in the third grade, I'd like to call my witness. Your Honor, Ms. Paulson, please take the stand. Ms. Paulson, could you please state your employment history prior to becoming a legal secretary? I was an actress. Were you able to make a living at that? No. I worked as a waitress to supplement my income, but I don't see what that is. How much do you make now, Ms. Paulson? Somewhere in the six figures? Yes. It's quite an improvement on minimum wage plus tips, wouldn't you say? What can I say? I'm very good at what I do. And was shredding a document related to the Coastal Motors case that your firm tried years ago, one of the things that you were good at doing? Oh, shit. How the hell does he know about that? It doesn't matter, he knows. Ms. Paulson, I'll ask you again. Did you destroy evidence on that case? And I'll remind you that you're under oath. Objection. The document he's referring to was fake. It's not illegal to get rid of fraudulent documents. Did she know that when she destroyed it? It doesn't matter. So unless he plans to prosecute the witness for doing her job. I plan to ask the witness questions. I'd like the chance to do that. Your Honor, Mr. Spector, back off. Witness will answer the question. Yes, I shredded the file. That's your boss's request. No. Ms. Paulson, were you fired during the Coastal Motors trial and then rehired one week later? Yes, but... And since then, you've become your firm's chief operating officer, but you're not a lawyer, are you? You don't need to be a lawyer to be a COO. Then do you have an MBA? No, I don't. Of course you don't. All you have is a bachelor's in theater and you were a part-time waitress, part-time actress when you quit to become a legal secretary, which is what you were until Harvey Specter made you COO overnight. Tell me, do you have any of the qualifications normally required for that position? I have been at the firm longer than anyone. I know how it works. Oh, so do I, by breaking the law and then rewarding the people that do. That's a lie. Well, then how did you get your promotion? Because there's only two ways I can think of when you're not qualified and they're both pretty distasteful. Objection, that's inflammatory. Answer the question. I'll tell you how I got it. I asked for it. You asked for it. Well, you know, if that's all it takes, maybe I should ask Mr. Spector for a pony. Except I don't think that's all it takes. I think it takes destroying evidence, getting fake fired, and a little acting ability to pull it off. Your Honor, he's testifying. Yeah, well, then I'll wrap it up. Because if she was willing to destroy evidence in that case, she's willing to do it in this one. And that is why the memo referred to in that article no longer exists. Your Honor, I've heard enough. This case is moving forward, and I'm allowing that article to be admitted as evidence. 